Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hi, Valder. It's Robin Flipsy. 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 Rhymes with Gypsy. By now. <laughs> I gotcha. Robin Flipsy. Robin Flipsy. Thanks so much for joining us this morning and talking about the most important meal of the day, mm -hmm. breakfast. I think this is so important. It is important. <laughs> and uh, what better thing to talk about in the morning? <laughs> well, you've got my audience attention because I was telling them about all your accolades that you're registered dietitian, a nutritionist, and founder of the Nutrition Communication Services. So you come well qualified to get us started. Yes, I hope I can share some wisdom with you, and everybody will be healthier and have new, better habits by the end. Okay, what's the latest? What does the latest study show about eating breakfast? Well, the most important thing about eating breakfast is that we wake up in the morning empty. We haven't had anything for several hours and we need to kickstart our metabolism for the day. We need to get the furnace cranked up and we need to have fuel to get through whatever we have planned. If you're going to be working or going to school or have some adventure planned, you need something to help fuel that activity. But it's also a chance to eat some foods that are going to be part of a healthy and balanced diet by the end of the day. You can't keep putting off the healthy eating till dinner time. So choosing a healthy whole grain like Cheerios Oat Crunch cereal, combine it with some milk, have some fruit on it. That are three different food groups that are going to add up to a healthy diet by the end of the day. Many people are eating cereal for breakfast, but are all cereals created equal? No, they're not all created equal, but some of the things you want to look for are cereals that are going to give you whole grains, which are a good source of fiber, and that's true of the Cheerios Oat Crunch. And then you combine it with protein from milk or cottage cheese to make a parfait, and you add the fruit, as I said. It can be fresh. It can be dried fruit, which is easy because you don't have to peel or cut anything. And now you have a breakfast meal that started with cereal and was put together with other food groups. And the Cheerios Oat Crunch combination of fiber and the protein is going to let you have something that's really going to energize you and satisfy you longer. You're not going to get hungry in an hour. You're not going to be looking for something else to snack on in a short time. And that's an important thing too because some breakfasts may not have that va value and you are already thinking about what to eat next by the time you get to your desk or by the time you look at the clock and it's 10 o'clock. So having the breakfast that energizes you and satisfies you longer is important. A lot of people opt for eggs. Give us some egg facts. Well, eggs are absolutely nutritious, a fabulous source of protein, and definitely something I would recommend in the morning or any time of day. But you want to put it together maybe with some whole wheat toast, and maybe you're going to have some uh, fresh cut watermelon uh, as a side with that, or a glass of juice, so that you've combined your eggs with other foods that are going to make a balanced breakfast. Don't worry, eggs are good for you, and it's all about what you put them together with. Okay. Give me some alternatives because a lot of people are starting their day off with sugar and carbs to rev up their metabolism. Are there alternatives? Well, yes, you can start off with something like a smoothie where you take some frozen fruit and frozen vegetables and combine it with either um, milk and nuts to make a satisfying and rich drink that you can actually take with you in the car and drink on your way to wherever you're going. And I've had clients who really find it easier to take some shredded cheese and black beans, fold it into a tortilla, heat it up, and eat that like a breakfast wrap. And what it could be easier than peanut butter or any nut butter, really. Put it on a toasted English muffin or whole grain toast, and you have a really nutritious breakfast that you can make very quickly. And again, it's combining complex carbohydrates or fiber with some protein to get the satisfaction you need through the morning. What is the recommended way, and I'll wrap up with this, Robin, for people to understand their nutritional needs? Because 
it seems that each of us are different. So what's best for me may not be best for you sometimes. I'll agree with you that each of us are different in terms of our likes and dislikes, and maybe even there are some differences as far as what we emphasize in our diet, but we all need the same nutrition. We all need the vitamins, the minerals, the protein, the fiber that help keep a human being alive and healthy. So we combine the foods maybe a little differently, and we might emphasize some types of vegetables over others, but I don't think we're as different as you might think when it comes to our basic nutritional needs. Robin Flipsy has been featured in national broadcasts such as ABC News, Dateline, NBC, and Fox Channel News, and many others. I think she's going to be my favorite on the Valder BB show. Robin, where can my audience go for more information? They can get information at Cheerios.com or at TipsOnTV.com. Thank you for being my guest this morning, getting us started off with breakfast. You guys got the information. Now take some action. Thank you, Robin. Bye-bye, Valder.